Hello and welcome to Japanese from Zero, Japanese in five, where we take five minutes out of your extremely busy life. Because you know, you got work, you got kids, you got school, you got all sorts of things that prevent you from studying Japanese. But if you could take just five minutes a day and study, you'll learn something and you will move forward in your lessons. This is what this is. This is number 14, which means up until now, if you times that by five, it's been like 70 minutes of study. But you've learned a lot of things. Let's do this one, which is Hodo. Hodo is surprisingly powerful and it does about three things in the Japanese language. Uh, the first thing that you might have heard, at least I hear a lot, or it seems like I've heard it a lot, is this particular phrase right here. Kenka suru hodo, naka ga i. And what this hodo does, by the way, let me just back up for a second. Let's just look at this. Oops, backed up a little bit too far. In, th in this thing we're talking about, we're talking about the more you something something, okay? So we're going to use hodo as, as a way to say the more that you blah blah blah. And then that's what this is right here. Kenka suru hodo naka ga i. What does this mean? It means the more you fight, the better your relationship is. This is a typical thing that Japanese people say about married couples or about boyfriends and girlfriends. Kenka suru hodo naka ga i. Notice that the verb kenka suru to fight is in its dictionary form. It's not past tense. It's not negative. It is normal uh, present tense. So kenka suru hodo, the more you fight, naka ga i the better your relationship is. Now I've seen it reversed. I've seen this. Naka ga i hodo kenka o suru. So, or kenka suru. But look at the difference in meaning. So the first one is, the more you fight, the better your relationship is. This one is, the better your relationship is, your relationship is so good that you fight. Naka ga i hodo kenka o suru. That's a little bit mind explosion for me. In Korean they say membung. I don't what would that be? What would that be in Japanese? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, we only have two minutes left. Let's keep moving. Oops, I'm sorry, this is going a little bit off the screen. Uh, this is Benkyo Suruhodo. The more you study, Nihongo ga wakariyasku narimas. Japanese gets easier. The more you study, Japanese gets easier. Now that makes more sense in English to say, the more you study Japanese the better, uh, the easier it gets. All right, now we could take hodo and say as something as. For example, omotta hodo muzukashiku nai desu. It's not as difficult as I thought. As difficult as I thought. Not as difficult as I thought. Omotta hodo muzukashiku nai desu. Now you could say this about so many things. This phrase alone is really powerful. Omotta hodo samuku nai desu. It's not as cold as I thought. Omotta hodo yasuku nai desu. It's not as cheap as I thought. Uh, tomodachi hodo jōzu janai desu. Maybe someone says to you, Nihongo wa jōzu desu ne. Your Japanese is really good. You're skilled in Japanese. You could respond. This is a good response. Ah, tomodachi hodo jōzu janai desu. I'm not as good as my friends. Let's say you're talking about the weather. Kyō no tenki wa Today's weather is not as bad as yesterday's weather. Let's say someone says you're perverted. I am perverted. I've heard this phrase quite a bit. Hentai da ne? You're so hentai? You could respond to them in a funny way and say, Anata hodo hentai janai desu. I'm not as hentai as you. And there's one more usage of hodo. And it's used to say like about, another way of saying as much as also, but it's with amounts. And it means as much as this. So for example, 電車が, the train, 5分ほど前に出発しました. The train departed as much as 5 minutes ago. You could say 5分前に出発しました, but you're saying as much as because it's not an exact time. You could also say ぐらい to say about. 5分ぐらい. But in this case, we're saying as much as. So for example, let's say as much as a hundred people came to the party. That is it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next Japanese in 5. Bye-bye.